But and obviously, you'd know about the, the the big news of of the day with Roger. And I only just heard literally. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, literally, as I was walking here, so I don't know much about. Oh. It. Okay, yeah. uh, that Roger has announced his retirement. That Lever Cup will be his last event. Um, you played him twenty-seven times. What uh, is the biggest memory that you take away from those matches that you played? I think he had you eighteen. 89 overall but there were some amazing matches that you you came up with yeah well of of my kind of era i guess and you know we were the same age we grew up together in junior so i knew roger extremely well and probably saw, saw him slightly different to everyone else as well um because we grew up together but um you know he he was the greatest of of that time um you know obviously there's a couple of other guys now that have really put their hand up but he went um clear easily from you know grand slam perspective and and really just his win loss ratio there you know mid 2000s there he was nearly unbeatable um it was pretty much only rafa that could get him especially on the clay so um but most of all he's been a great ambassador for our sport so you know i always said that you don't want to push those guys out of the game too early. Everyone wants to talk about retirement. When when are they going to retire? You you want to hold on to those greats, and they've done so many special things for our sport. And um, yeah, you know, to be honest, I just said to Rochi then, as I was walking out, I said it would have been nice for him. Yeah, you know, he deserved to go out on his terms. You know, for him to play one more Wimbledon or, or something, um, I think would have been special. But um you know obviously you know the body <laughs> you get to my age and his age now and it's not easy so um now he's done everything in the sport that you could ever dream of did, did you like playing him because i remember him saying he hated playing you in the early days and the, the... <laughs> well, it was probably the same just reverse so i loved playing him at the start and then hated it for about 12 years so you know when you keep losing and especially quite a few were big matches but um I, I think the biggest thing we had a mutual respect for each other so you know every time we stepped on the court um we competed as hard as possible and then the best man won on, at the time but um you know there were probably a couple of telling results that sort of uh i, I you know the, obviously the big result for me was the davis cup semi-final but in some ways i know he'd won wimbledon just prior to that but in some ways that turned his career as well he i think that one really stung in a lot of ways um not only because it was the Davis Cup playing for Switzerland, but we were actually playing for the Peter Carter Cup at the time. There, were, there was a lot of emotion around that particular tie, and and um, yeah, I think he kind of went from strength to strength after that. Yeah, because that's pretty much the match he refers to as great as what turned things around. <laughs> he I mean, wanted to destroy me every every was, time after was, that. He but... was up, I think, two sets to love, and and with a double break or a break in the third, and you turned that around. Yeah. Um. So that's the one you also. Oh, for me, that's, you know, Davis Cup, I, I prided myself and, and he was, I think, world number one, just got to it and uh, won his first Wimbledon a couple of months before that. So, you know, for me to do that, I dreamt of doing it. I watched Cash beat, you know, Pernforce from two sets to love down and I always dreamt to be in that position. And for me to do it against someone the calibre of Federer at the time, um, yeah, it was always one of my greatest matches.